What is up everybody? It's easy. Easy Street Gaming. Coming to you today in Clash Royale. Just just got done watching about two hours of vid videos from other YouTubers. Kind of disturbing watching these other guys. We'll get into that in a few minutes. D did some about an hour's worth of two, two versus two battles with Nirvana. She'll be here in a minute sometime. Uh, had a lot of fun. Uh, it's real fun playing with Nerv uh, on these two twos because her and I have totally opposite ways of play. Uh, to give you an example, and I'll give you an example before she gets here. Uh, if they drop a golem down and they have a big push coming towards us, she's slinging golem barrels at the center of castle while I'm trying to play defense. I'm defensive minded. She's just all out offense all the time. <laughs> That's kind of where your logic and emotion come in from the beginning. Uh, I look at things, try to break it down, try to figure out our, our, our best course of action, and uh, she's just constantly on the attack. She's super, super aggressive, but it ended up working out real well. We probably played for an hour. I think we lost twice, and both times, well, man, we should have won both of them, but we didn't. Uh, notice that, notice a lot of negativity in the game right now, and uh, I guess I'll, well, I'll touch on that before. We'll, we'll break down some of these attacks Watching other youtubers now they keep in mind. These are these are Clash Royale youtubers and Not a lot of good things to say about the game especially which you know, it's kind of baffling to me. Yeah, uh, you're on YouTube Making it on YouTube doing well on YouTube On Clash Royale, but you talk bad about it every single video talk about how the game's broken how the meta is wrong how the, these troops are overpowered and uh, I'm not the, I'm not a great player by any means I'm not a professional player uh, I get my I get my ass handed to me regularly my little sister could probably beat me at least once out of three <laughs> and uh, I may not notice some of the intricate little things that some of these other guys are noticing but I, I just want to offer everyone an opinion just a, a mindset that Everything is exactly what you make of it. If you're going to find something negative in the game that you love, then you, then you're not going to really have a good time. You're not going to be able to enjoy it. Now, now, granted, yes, there are some frustrating things that happen m with me, mostly the other players. Um, matter of fact, I kind of uh, emphasized some of it uh, in this video because they're constantly harassing me, and I would like to choke them. And uh, I'm just glad that I play on the internet and I'm not looking at this kid that's uh, taunting me constantly. <laughs> it's part of, the, part of the game I hate and I think it's part of the, part of the game I love too. I don't know if I, if I would be able to play it if it was just quiet all the time. So, uh, but at the same time I can't have anyone in the room. I have to lock the door and I scare my kids and the dog if they're in the room with me. <laughs> so, uh, but on the other hand we have Nerve. Her and I, we normally don't play in the same room. We live in the same house, but we won't play in the same room. I, I don't know why it's easier for us to, just to do that. Uh, and we get along better that way too. It can be difficult playing as a teammate with someone. Especially when uh, you have totally different styles of playing. And, I, I, and also, th th this, let me make sure I, I just put this out there. Um, with all of my strategy and all of my defense and all of my cunning little ways, most of the time we won for her, from her slinging these damn goblin barrels <laughs> or raging the air at the time and then uh, putting something in it two, two seconds later for the win. Uh, you know, it's a great, been having a great time in Clash Royale. I, coming from Clash of Clans, which is a, a, a lot slower p paced of a game. And then going with a head-to-head -head competition of Royal, uh, it's it's a lot of fun. And what people I, I and I just it was really frustrating today to listen to all these YouTubers constantly badmouth over and over. And they want to talk about the designers. They want to talk about all these problems. But normally the problems aren't the game. It's normally just you and your mindset. And yeah, uh, yeah, I get frustrated too. I get frustrated when uh, the game will glitch out on me for like tenth of a second, right at the worst time. Uh, I still haven't figured out if that's me or if that's the game. I'm gonna say it's the game, <laughs> but uh, and it's frustrating. I, I hate losing that way. Uh, I'll get in these these little side tournaments and um, 
and Helena Bluesen because of, of a, just a fraction of, of a second that I'll put something in and I'll have a little hesitation and I lose and I get pissed. If I had a phone, I'd probably chuck the phone, but I play on a big screen TV, so I uh, can't chuck the TV. But, uh, okay, here's Nerve. She finally made it, sitting on the couch with me. Hey, baby. Hey. So, these are the replays. I've already edited out all of the attacks that uh, that didn't make the cut. So, we have, I think, three or four more. You didn't put any money in there that was, like, raising the air or anything, did you, honey? No, I would never do that. <laughs> oh, okay. So, uh... You probably did all that, did you? <laughs> <laughs> Great. What I want to do is just give some perspective on the two different players and what, what you're thinking about. Because I, when I'm playing, I'm, I think about mostly defense, and I try to control the other player as much as I can. And when you're playing, from what I see from the other side, is that you're all offensive minded. And take it down. Take it down fast. <laughs> take it down. And so... What is he laughing at? Is he laughing at me? No, he's not laughing at you. That's... <laughs> I've put in some... I've put in some of... Uh, it came up conveniently after I said something. <laughs> Are you doing that? Do you have a button? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. That, that's my way of getting back at the other players for, oh, yeah. for doing that to me. So I now, love when they start saying thanks, thanks, thanks at the beginning of the <laughs> attack. Yeah. Thanks for what? <laughs> That's why I have to get them. I have to get them fast. Yeah, that taunting is um, the part I hate the most. In the in the when I beat someone after they've done that, um, they call it DMing. You used to not do that. What's that? Use those little um, emojis or whatever they're called. I don't do that. I would never do that. You sure do you use them a lot now. <laughs> you used them a lot when we played. Yeah, well, because uh, that's that's part of the game. That's part, that's how you express yourself. And what I found is uh, when I'm frustrated, there's a button for that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I found those buttons a long time ago, honey. Yeah. There's, a, there's a button for that, and uh, now I just use, now I just use the button. So how convenient. <laughs> Okay, so we're starting off in the next raid, you have the you have these I call them the impending doom cards. So you have the infernal dragon coming in. Now I'm, I'm using this. I'm using what what I would call a hog cycle deck. In other words, I have a couple of strike cards. Oh, this is I, I remember this now. This is actually one of the one of the most feared things to happen. That's when they throw two golden barrels, then they mirror them, then then they clone that, and we ended up logging all of their uh, all the golden barrels you took out the left side. I took out the right side and uh, Took that one down quick. Yeah, we didn't yeah, we didn't give him time to do it again, did we? <laughs> I I've like, tried. I've, I think I hit wow after that one <laughs> <laughs> I've tried that uh, we tried that the first time I saw that was probably six seven months ago So we decided to go back in the clan and try the same thing and after about 15 attempts failed attempts uh, That was it for that Well, that one I, I hit the wrong button on that one. I said, "Good luck." <laughs> <laughs> so now they have, uh, they have the same thing as I do. Now they have the it's a good game. I think they, they have the Mega Knight, one of these, uh, one of these cards that everyone is saying is way overpowered. Uh, but what I've found is that there's a lot of good counters for it now. Uh, I think you, you can use a Knight f for the counter for the Mega Knight, and you can use uh, the Ice Golem is another good counter for the Mega Knight. And then, of course, any any air troop can take out the Mega Knight. So, a lot of these, a lot of the complaints, because I, you know, after li watching the YouTubers and listening to them talk about how the game is ruined and how it's broken and how uh, the the meta is off, and they, there's too many overpowered cards, and they don't feel. I, I want your opinion on this. They don't feel like anyone should be able to beat them with just a card. Uh, you know a lot of the pros that play they don't they, they don't mind losing if they get outmatched They don't mind losing well, see, that's it. ridiculous because what I think is if there if there's something that can't be beat You're supposed to find out what beats it That's R part of the game. Yeah, right, right well, well What they're saying is that there's certain cards that if you don't have that card and they do They have such an unfair advantage over you that you either have to play the card bring the same card uh, for a while, it was the Night Witch. Now it's the Mega Knight. 
and they're saying that if you don't have these cards in your deck then and the other player does and they have a, a clear-cut advantage over you and that's not the way the game is supposed to be the game is supposed to be that if you have uh, it's, it's about whatever you have right you're supposed to be able to count and be able to handle it because I have such low level cards Mike that I really am your every card you use is over me can beat my day well if we're playing heads up but when you're playing in the tournaments or you're playing uh, and I, I don't know if it's like that in the 2-2 I don't know I, I'm not I, I guess I, I don't know exactly how the rules work I don't know if all of our cards are adjusted the only card that I have that you have is the hog I don't have the other three right there I don't have the bats I don't have the him and I don't have the ice lizard I mean uh, not wizard but whatever that guy is the ice golem yeah well, we have, I know, we, we have different cards that we use. So, for, for most people, that would be, you know, unbeatable cards, right? Oh, okay, so you're saying, from your perspective, since you don't have all the cards, then it's hard for you to even judge if certain cards are overpowered. Right. Because you don't have them all, so you don't know if there's a certain card that... That won't get beat. That won't get beat, right. And there's okay. only one YouTuber that I will even listen to. Okay. So. Okay, well... So that's what they're saying, though. They're saying that there's, and I, I'm not gonna personally. I don't want to buy into that. I don't want to buy into complaining about it because, from what I've found, is they change the scene all the time. They change, yeah, right, right. No, every update they do a little bit of, they do a little uh, um, balancing. <laughs> How did we see, take that one out? I, I don't know, but see, they complained so much that I had to add our own little emojis in at the end. <laughs> <laughs> You know they what what will happen is is they, they I, I I think they're kids but they are so used to people talking bad after they win that they try to beat you to it and they laugh about it instead of letting you laugh. Right. It's a, it's it's funny. Just the whole thing is. They probably thought me saying um, "good game" at the beginning <laughs> was a was a jab at them, but it wasn't. It was I just hit the wrong button. And you can't take it back. It's already out there. Right. <laughs> Okay, so let's 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 go into this deck now. I'm like I said before, I have a hog cycle deck, and what what that really means is that I'm trying to cycle through to the hog rider. I'm going to try to throw the hog rider with the log and then the fireball. Those, that's my three big weapons, and everything else I have is kind of defensive cards. I, I use the like right now. I have a skeleton army. It's a defensive card. I have the mega knight. It's a defensive card. I have the ice golem. It's a defensive card. And then I'll cycle through, and then I'll use the hog, and then I'll use the the. Uh, the log, the hog, the log, and the fireball, and those what I, that's how I'll strike the towers. So, what is your striker card? What, what's the cards that you're going that you're trying to use to do the most damage on the actual towers? Well, I use the barrel and I use the rage, and then if I have a balloon or if I have a um, see conveniently, did you hit that button again? <laughs> <laughs> if I have a balloon, the balloon shoots up there. If you have the hog, then I bring the balloon because. No sense in having two hogs go there. And what I like about the hog is everybody, all your troops are right there. And I saw this big time in the football field when they were, we were playing the touchdown. But the hog runs by them. It don't matter what they do. They can stop and turn around, and he still runs after and runs past them. Right. Well, the, he's going. He's a defense only troop, so or a tower only troop. But the giants don't do that. They're not so fast. <laughs> well, they're yeah, right. They're they they're, they're high hit points, so they're kind of balloons slow. aren't so emotionally. <laughs> unavailable either <laughs> so uh, had the little scream going on because here they, they're they coming at us with a, a big pile of troops and, and I'm then, over there with a the balloon and then <laughs> yeah, you're helping out on defense by putting a balloon on the opposite <laughs> side so, so I used uh, one Mega Knight but they, they were e see they came back and countered it pretty easily with a couple minions took it out and so now we have kind of a back and forth thing going on and I believe you can't see the time, uh, which kind of sucks. But see, I shoot my bear on the back side of that that time. Yeah, you shot. Now, see, that's that's one of my baffling things. Uh, you shot the barrel at the center castle. Uh, that's because I was and, on, I was on that mode. I was attacking that side. Okay. I already had the balloon and the the dragon already hit that side. Then and I it, came over here with the the new dragon came over here and got this side. Yeah, the infernal dragon. And then you went over there. That's that's another really great troop. Uh, the Infernal Dragon actually stops Gollum. It stops a lot of these big troops. He don't stop the wizard. No, wiz yeah. Wizard the wiz takes him down. <laughs> well, okay. Anyway, that's the end of the video. Well, this is fun. 
yeah, I, 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 I want to do more of this. I want to do more of the, uh, you know, we do two, two verse two in the game. So I want you to help me do the two verse two commentary. I enjoyed it. I enjoy making these. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. So don't forget to subscribe. Yep, sub Hit to the, the channel, like. guys. Oh, and this is this is a perfect ending. There's, Wait, uh, what does it say? Nerd's that. face when you. <laughs> 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 That's true. <laughs> Your acting skills are not very flattering. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Till next time, it's been easy. Peace Take out. care.